dimensional satellite image, you can make out that it has a, a huge enclosure around, um, in fact, the largest enclosure in pre modern Southeast Asia. I mean, um, basically, what the LIDAR does is uh, fires. It blankets the landscape with uh, millions of laser pulses every few seconds and most of them just bounce right back off uh, vegetation leaves and, and this kind of thing. Uh, but a very small percentage of those pulses find their way to the forest floor uh, and those pulses allow us to create very, very detailed models of the topography uh, on the forest floor. What the LiDAR does is that it uh, speeds up this process dramatically. Uh, so something that uh, perhaps would have taken us decades before uh, now takes a matter of minutes or hours uh, using the LiDAR. It was safer to raise it there than to raise it in Angkor, where it could have been used to get here. This is um, an... So it's a whole new map that we have to go on. It gives us a database and a base on which there are going to be decades of research to fill in the picture of this enormous empire, Angkor being a city almost on the scale of London uh, in the 12th century, the biggest thing on earth outside China probably, and bigger than the Chinese capital, organized with roads, hospitals, canals, quite extraordinary.